Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully this is the start of a very fun and somewhat relaxing series. I just recently finished up the My Time at Sandrock demo and I had so much fun playing that it really made me want to come back to Portia and I figured that was something that we could do together. So let's get started on a new game. I'm gonna go new. I have played this game a whole heck of a bunch. It's actually something that um, was one of the first games that I started streaming uh, way back in the day because we've been streaming for almost three years at this point. So this is definitely one of my like all time favorite relaxing kind of farming sim games, even though this really isn't super, super farming heavy. Um, I still I still adore this game. So definitely something that might be fun to just, you know, relax to kind of thing. I want to change my hair color, though desperately let's go with black here and then i like doing red for the highlights the black and red in this game looks fantastic together uh and then i'm probably not going to do honestly too 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 much on the face and everything like that let me just lower the brows and then i want to make them a smidge bit thinner and then i think the shape yeah just teeter totters them back and forth uh eye size yeah i, I mean the eyes are actually for the base game, like the character creator, the game, the characters that they give you rather are actually really well done. Um, let's go with, I kind of want to go purple eyes this time. And then the, the highlight on them isn't really much like you can kind of see it. It's more like right here. So it's that like little highlight color. I like mixing the yellow and the purple It like the gold and the yellow just kind of pops with the purple. I just think it looks really nice. Okay. That's good. And then, honestly, I think I might just make the chin width a smidge bit smaller. The chin size, by the way, if you're new to Portia and you're just watching this to see if it's something that you want to play, the chin size is more the jawline um, as just a kind of heads up. And I think I want to make that a smidge bit shorter. Uh, mouth shape. Okay, so that's like kind of how much they smile. Mouth height. That's fine. And size. You don't need to go there perfect i actually really like the noses in this game anyway so never really bothered changing that too much i want to go with like a natural lip color perfect okay and then decorations i think i think i want to go with the uh the freckly pattern but i want to make them more natural on the color like they so they look more like freckles Instead of like, if you kind of went more with like a dramatic color, like if you did blue or purple or something like that, then you can make it more like face paint. Unless like you change up your skin tone to be blue, which can you do that? Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can make your skin tone whatever you want. So if you did like a blue skin tone and then did blue freckles on top, then yeah, that would look, you know what I mean? Natural. But I like doing the, uh, making these look like freckles. Okay. Perfect. I think that looks good. I like that you have the mirror so you can kind of see her in the mirror too. That's just a different way to see her. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited. I haven't been able to play this game in a little bit. Um, oh, right. Choose your birthday. I think we're going to go with fall 17. That works for me. All right. Let's see this intro scene. It's been so long. I'm so excited to be back in this game. This game is so comforting. And I love how much there is to do so far, or just in general. We're coming up on Portia. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while, always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. <laughs> good to be young. <laughs> the way he says that. Well, it's good to be young. Good luck to you. Thanks. So you can turn off the voiced uh, player character, but I decided to just leave it on because I like the voice acting for it. And right now, I know that there was talk that there was going to be an update coming that would allow a player, like it would update all the voice acting. So it would kind of finish it off because it's not. Fully finished. Oh, Presley. Um, but for right now, it's not fully. So I'll read out whatever lines aren't finished and we'll kind of go from there. How do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? 
That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. I like the way she says, yeah, like, he was a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Presley. So let's do dodge, dashing. Yeah, I don't want her to... Listen, Presley, I'm doing the, the tutorial. Jump and then Y for auto run. Okay. So now we know all the controls, which, I mean, I'll probably forget in a few minutes. <gasps> Can I... I... There was stuff to pick up. There was and already stuff. here we are. Your My work. workshop. <laughs> <laughs> this place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? I like it. Looks homey. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. All right, Lily, when you read this, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. And then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You'll always be my pride and joy. Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Tests? I can do that, Presley. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Oh, did it actually? Okay, it does actually put you to sleep at the end of that. I didn't know if I got like a little bit of time beforehand. This house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Yeah, so <laughs> having just come off the my time at Sandrock demo and then seeing the start of your house here where it's like in complete disarray. It is actually fairly hilarious though, the difference between the two. So we do need to collect stuff. Now I have the benefit of... I having a uncomfortable amount of time already in this game so i'm gonna skip some of the stuff that they kind of tell you to do like tutorial wise and just kind of get a lot of it done ahead of time um so that way it moves a little bit smoother at least for me personally uh you can do it though if you're new to the game i'd suggest following like go to the commerce guild and talk to presley and all this other stuff but if you're a veteran of the game i mean you know you know that you need to pick up stones and grab some some twigs and stuff like that and you, you need to make certain things right away and that's what we're about to do also storage because i own the dlcs for the game uh actually i've gotten a lot of comments on my uh top tips for uh porsche uh, people ask how i get the um the outfit so i will show you how i make that outfit in just a minute but first i need to gather enough twigs and stuff like that to make everything a plus a um storage box hey oh you're new in town as well? I am. I just moved here a little while ago. Name's Audit. Audit, nice to meet you. I get up real early each morning to watch the sunrise. It's my favorite routine. Is it? He is so sweet. I don't know who I want to um romance this time around. I just want to get the, okay, good. I, I really have no idea. I'm, I'm thinking about Arlo, but there's like the whole storyline with Arlo and then then there was Gust could be cool, but I've romanced him before. I was thinking maybe Mint, but I'm not sure. I don't know. If you have an opinion, you can leave it in the comments and let me know what you think uh, would be a good romance option. From Portia Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is Portia Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We're a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Okay, the rest of that is outfits. So, let me craft simple axe. And for the pickaxe, okay, I need one more stone for the, uh, the pickaxe. Now, in um, Sandrock, we had the pick hammer. And I'm just realizing now that I think 
No, because this is still the two separate. The pick hammer reminds me of the axe and that. Oh, hello. Hey there. Hi, I'm Emily. Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. I will. You're like the nicest bean Greetings. ever. Here comes the springtime. Can you smell it? The smell of recovery, rebirth, and rejuvenation. Oh my gosh, you're like the, she's like the cutest thing ever. Okay, we'll take these. I feel like I had a third. I gotta go see. I have to see exactly what I need to build. So is the hammer, or no, not the hammer. We've got an ax. We've got the pickaxe. Okay, so I guess the pick hammer is just what the pickaxe is, but it just looks bigger in Sandrock. I wonder if it's gonna have like a slightly different purpose in the end. Okay. So we've got these down. Oh, also, what do I need for a storage box? I need more. Okay, perfect. Let me just get some of this. And I think he, they also were going to ask me to build a, uh, a furnace, which honestly, in this game, you can't have enough. <laughs> the furnaces are so important. Okay, all of this. And then I figure they have, just like in the Sandrock demo, if you did play it, you probably saw some chests floating around. Portia has the exact same thing. Um, so we'll, once we kind of lose all of our stamina for the day, we'll definitely go and pick up... Um, what we can in those chests because there's a lot of really nice stuff in those chests is that toady toady hey i'm toady you're the new builder right i am it's always nice to have more builders isn't it though how are you Got some great catches today i highly recommend the golden salmon fresh and delicious i will take that under advisement thank you very much okay so let's also grab a little bit of this it's only 11.14. That's it. Oh, it's still early. Ah, getting a lot of stuff done. All right, the latest from the developers. So this is the... I think that this was a free DLC. The swimsuit one. I will take the stuff from that. And then what do we got here? This is... Thank you so much for purchasing our game new attires. Oh, for the NPCs. That one's really cool. And then here we go. This is the mother of all 24 equipments in total. Uh, please make sure you have an inventory of them before clicking keep. We hope you enjoy your time. So... Whatever doesn't fit in your inventory just kind of gets put in a sack right there, which is fine. Um, and then... Oh, no. I forgot to make a uh, a chest before I did that. Okay. And that is fine, though, because you can just... Can I drop things? Uh, I'm just going to abandon that. This item cannot be... Ah, oh, you can't abandon them? Okay. I don't know what to do instead. Hold on. I forgot to build the storage chest first. I was like all prepared, like, oh, I have enough wood to build the storage chest. Oh, that was silly of me. You know what I could just do? Let's put on a hat. Yes. Boom, done. Actually, you can also put on the sunglasses and they'll actually show, which I love in this game. I believe I have hats. I do. I have hats turned off because the hats have an, um, an auto hairstyle that they use, and I'm not necessarily a fan of it. So, but because I just accidentally picked up something. I'm going to take this and just wear it for the moment. And I think I'm going to start with the shorts. Oh, right. It doesn't actually... Okay, perfect. There we go. So this is the shirt that I wear in pretty much every video now that I can. Uh, I love this thing. It is beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite designs in a game for an outfit in a very long time. I will take this and put that there. Okay. And then plop this down. It is noon. All right, so this, let's name this as uh, DLC clothing. And then that way I can just keep things sorted from the get-go. Perfect. And then that goes in there. All right, and then a furniture can be turned on with tea. Okay. That should be everything, I believe. So... I, I think that this outfit, this is right, the wandering, oh no, so this is a blue elegance, I it was supposed to go with this skirt, but I'm actually super partial to, to this uh, combination. I also really liked this, but I think we're going to go with this for now. Oh, we also had this, and then there was this skirt, this skirt is super cute. The outfits for the DLC were utterly adorable. Okay. Yeah, I think that works for now. Okay. 
And you can pick up a, uh, a closet from the, um, oh my gosh, who was it? From the store. Uh, and that closet, you can actually hang up stuff and see them hanging up. So I'll probably end up hanging out or hanging up um, my favorite outfits, which is really cute to do. I actually really love that. I love the furniture in this game. All right. I'm going to start saying hi to people. Hi, oh. Oaks. You must be the person the mayor was talking about. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. We can absolutely be friends. You are adorable. The people in Portia argue about a lot of things I don't understand. Aren't we all part of the same family? Yeah, I get it. I do. They argue. That's all right, though. Hello. You must be Nora. Oh, hi there. Are you new here? I am. I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Anything else you want to chat about? I want the guidance of the church when it comes to technologies from the corrupted world. After all, these technologies were what led to the destruction of the human race. We need to be extra careful of what we dig up now. Yeah, I'll be extra careful. Let me tell you, I will be so careful. How much do you want to donate? Nothing. I don't want to I'm donate more. anything. Oh, you must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Thank you very much for chatting. I'm going to go this way and talk to Presley. Oh man. I love the music in this game too. Nice to see you. Hey Presley. How are you settling in? Very, very well. Great. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. Okay. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're... Pr now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. I already did it. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools and Central Don't do Square. That. Don't buy it. Don't you buy that. After have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Will do. All right. Hey, Presley, wait for me. Ah, excellent quality. Thank you. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Will do, and I'll bring it back to you. No worries. And get that done. Get that started on making me delicious things like uh, charcoal. Charcoal is like one of those things that literally from the get-go, from like your first day in Portia, what you should do is build yourself one furnace and all it does, like a little stone furnace, and all it does all day every day is make you just oodles and oodles of charcoal because you don't think that you're going to need it uh, right away because you really don't need it early in game. But trust me when I tell you that you are going to need it uh later on and you're going to need a lot of it okay place the wood and this oh i need stone stools right uh this and i liked this was added in during um development this mission sign i really like that thank you and then this done look at us we did it and let's go bring that to Presley. I don't actually think I have to bring it to Presley. Um, maybe you do. I've never not brought it. I don't know what happens if you place it and just get it started. But we need to make so much stuff. I'm like already in prep for it. Because we got to beat Higgins at everything. <laughs> That's the goal of this. Beat Higgins at literally everything. Great job. You pass. This is your builder license. Yay! Congratulations! We have a license! Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. Excellent. Come back and talk with me after you register. Will do, Presley. Will do! <laughs> I like it that when you carry stuff, you just hold it like this. It's so adorable. 
Let me just carry my uh, my builder's license around and let everybody see how awesome I am that I have a builder's license. That's literally how it feels. All right. Mayor Gale. Mayor, can I talk to you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. You must be the new builder. I am. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting I love involved him. in the telesis of our society. I love Gail. He is one of my favorites. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Um, oh no. Oh no, I didn't think of this ahead of time. I thought of her name and what she was going to look like, but I didn't think of her. All right, Sunny Side Up. One of my first workshops was named Sunny Side Up. And uh, it's still one of my favorites. I don't know why. I think from now on, all of the workshops that I do on stream and Porsche or just like YouTube or Twitch will probably be sunny side up for Porsche. And then it'll probably be orange for uh, Sandrock because I already did orange once for the demo. So I'll probably do it again. <laughs> and so if you're wondering, uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, sunny side up. You can change it later. Look at my builder license. Nice name there. Your registration is complete. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting. I always miss while. these. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Okay. Try to make them if you can. Yay. You don't want me don't being the on only it. one there. <laughs> and, uh, I will cover <laughs> town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Thank you, Gail. Oh, wait. Do you want to chat, My chat? My Gust is nothing like me. Well, except for his talent and good-looking face. <laughs> I love him. Except his good-looking face. <laughs> oh, Gil. All right, we definitely got to go and meet everybody and get all of that done. Oh, you, May. Hello, new builder. Hello. That is who you are, right? Yes. I'm May. I work at the newspaper. See you around. Bye, May. It was my wait. One time again. I saw Merlin savaging through some old scraps of technology by the research center. What is she building this time? I have no idea. I will find out though, and then report back to my favorite reporter. I just love her. I think she definitely ends up becoming <gasps> best friend. Wait, 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 wait. There she is. There she is. The real star of this game. Pinky. Hi, Pinky. Hi. Hi. Hello, you little pink ball of fluff. I love you. Yes, exactly. I need to go catch all the fish, Pinky, so then that way we can be together forever. Because <laughs> you bet I'm going to make Pinky my cat as quickly as possible. And if you don't know, if you just keep getting your friendship points up with Pinky, eventually she just moves in with you. Like, you don't really get to adopt her or anything like that. It's more like Pinky adopts you, which I think is actually very accurate to cats. The the whole cat uh, dynamic in this game is very, very accurate to real life. You don't adopt cats. Cats adopt you. And, you know, I'm here for it. But Pinky is adorable. I'll take all that. I still love the... Uh, how everything just, like, auto-vacuums to the character. It's, like, one of my favorite things when it comes to resource gathering. I'm more likely to gather a ton of resources if uh, if the game has that than not. Just because otherwise, if you have to like pick up things individually, that can take so it's like so much extra time. All right, uh, it's six. I have six left. <sighs> it's already. I mean, it is starting to get kind of late. Kind of not really. I want to do one more of these. Oh, was I supposed to go see? Yeah, I was supposed to go see Presley again. I'll do that in the morning though. Um, just because I am. It's getting late. Ish. Oh, well, I could go see. I want to see still there. Okay. Now this is this is just day one. Uh, general storage. And I'm just gonna literally put a little bit of everything in there. I forget. That was the one thing I wanted to check. Is the storage cloud storage uh, when it comes to building? No, it's not. So that was the nice thing during the Sandrock demo. Uh, that was something that. Wait, I have 19. Oh, no, it is. Never mind. It is. It is cloud storage. That was one of the best things. Um, I'd rediscover, I guess I should say, I rediscovered it in the Sandrock demo. Like, I put the wood in my storage chest. I think that that was something that got added uh, during the early access portion. But that that's definitely one of those, like, yes, please. Um, 
features. I know this isn't the clothing chest, but I need to get rid of it so I have space. Also, let's get a furnace rocking. Um, let's see. I don't want to do 19. Let's do 10. Just to start, I can build stone. I don't know if I'm... That's 8 out of... Yeah, I'm just going to leave that. Once, once we really get into it, though, we'll um, have a whole bunch of furnaces going and this and that. I got to make sure I keep upgrading things, too. That was one thing I forgot to do. Or I didn't forget to do. I just didn't do enough uh, in some of my other playthroughs. So things weren't running quite as efficiently or on better fuel. Presley! You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. I know, ish. Maybe he would have been. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Okay. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. Excellent. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh, yes. Adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry. If you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Now I plan to be. I plan to be. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. That's actually a decent strat. Like, eventually you're going to have too much stone. Stone is one of those things that is just, it piles up because you use it, for, like you get it from the abandoned ruins and everything like that. And you just have so much of it that if you get like 120, 125% day for selling, it's not a bad idea to make like 100, 200 stools, like stone stools or something like that and just sell them. Like it's just a good way to clear out the inventory because otherwise you're just going to have like two storage chests full of stone. Don't ask me how I know that. That's absolutely not happened to me. It did happen to me once. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Thank you. No. Playing favorites are oh, Higgins. You already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. Higgins. That's Runt. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press. I've got a job for you. Or not. I mean, that introduction, though. How can you not romance Arlo? What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. Oh? So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up for the challenge. I am. I am absolutely up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. There's a haunted cave? How haunted is haunted? And are you going to protect me from it? Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. You got it. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. And also, though, I know that they say that he took the commission from you, but you can still go back to the commission board, too. I don't want the copper blades. No. Wait. Copper blades and copper plates? Is there... I... I don't have... I can't do any... They, you all are asking for things I cannot do today. Hello. How are Hi you? There. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> Yes, we probably This is will. exhausting. I could fall asleep at any time. Okay, well, I hope we can get you some tea or coffee soon to help you stay awake. Oh my gosh, I love him. Okay, so here's a little tip. The After you finish the bridge, a lot of stuff opens up um, in town or like to do. Like there's like a like a big kind of project for the next part of the game. So I prefer to wait on the bridge to Amber Island until I have a ton of resources and stuff like that. And I, I gave, get myself a little bit of money, stuff like that. Arlo, hey. 
Hi, can we chat? If you plan to visit other cities, I'd advise you to have a Civil Corps escort. Some years ago, Adit went to Huteo Town alone to get seeds. He was trapped by monsters for two days on the way back. Fortunately, Dawa found him and told us. We were able to rescue him in time. I promise if I go to Walnut Grove and I need to get seeds, I will tell you beforehand. See ya. See ya. And you were Albert. Hi. How are you, Albert? I wish I were Gust. He's very gifted in structural design. Luckily, he's my partner. Otherwise, my days wouldn't have been so easy. I can imagine. Bye. Goodbye. And who are you? Isaac. Hello. Hi, Isaac. You're the new builder, I suppose. I like that I he's hope a hermit. You're wiser and more reasonable than the other builder in town. I think he's a fool. And I think you and I are going to be the best of friends because I too think he's Life a fool. Life is time. So enjoy your time in Portia, but don't waste mine. You absolutely got it, you adorable little hermit. <laughs> oh, you're Molly and Dolly. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Uh, outside of Barnarok. You're going to be a tailor like your mom one day? I hope so. Dolly, can I say hi? No. Hello. Hello. I just want to say, now that you're here, we can't play hide and seek in that haunted house anymore. It's all your fault. I am I am so sorry. Spring is my favorite season because it's my birthday. Good to know. I feel like you're already leveraging me for a gift and we just met, child. We just met and you're already telling me when your birthday is because you want me to send you a birthday gift. Honestly, though, I get it. <gasps> QQ. Hi. Hi, QQ. I love you. I need QQ in my life forever. Ginger. You must be the new builder. I am. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Ginger. Hope you find our little town fitting. I will. I already People love it. People in Porsche are all very simple and friendly folks. I, I really enjoy having simple. a conversation with everyone. All right, Ginger. Go have your walk before your brother murders me for taking more of your time up. Polly. Are you the new builder? I am. I'm Polly. It's nice to see other people try to bring about the telesis of this world. Or at least, that's what the mayor likes to say. <laughs> nice to meet you. And it's nice to meet you, too. Come to think of it, I've been looking for a book called Journey to the East. I know it's a classic, but it's hard to find. The story sounds so dreamy, though. One day, I'd like to go to a grand adventure like that. Well, I hope you do have a grand adventure like that one day. All right. Well, let's see. Phyllis! Oh, who might you be? The new builder. It's nice to meet you. Bacteria spreads fast in this season. You gotta look after your personal hygiene. I do. Thank you for the reminder. I will definitely look after it. Make sure it doesn't wander off. Remington. What's up? You How must you doing? Be the new builder I heard about. I am. I'm Remington, a member of the Civil Corps. If you got any troubles, let me know and I'll try to make it go away. You got it, Remington. The safety of Porsche is my number one priority. If you see anything suspicious, just tell me. I will. I absolutely will. All right. I think I've said hi to pretty much. Oh, wait. There's Merlin. Merlin. You're new, aren't you? I am. Are you lost or something? Nah, I just wanted to say hi. I'll talk to you later. I will. I absolutely will. Petra. Hello. You're the new builder, right? I am. Nice to meet you. I'm Petra. It's nice to meet you. Research I'm Lily. Shows in the ruins near Portia, there are a lot of valuable contraptions from the old time waiting to be discovered. It would be a pleasure to work here. Well, guess what? I will bring you anything cool that I find because I'm a really nice person. Carol. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'd love to visit the beach, but I'm too busy with the show. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's so busy. She doesn't even have time to go to the beach. Toby. Did you just move here? I did. Never seen you before. That's nah, because I'm new. How you doing? Did you hear? Arlo just discovered some new ruins. He's so amazing. And I'm going to be just like him when I grow up. I hope you. <laughs> I hope you do, Toby. I love Toby. He's always just so energetic. I'm going to be just like Arlo. That's adorable. Okay. Alice. Hi. Hi. I haven't seen you around. You are? Lily, it's nice to meet you. Do you see anything you like? All my flowers are freshly picked. They're beautiful. I love, I love, 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 love the flowers from this store. I hope we get a florist. I mean, how would you get a florist in Sandrock? But still. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Antoine over there <laughs> spying on the doctor. <laughs> I love everything about that. Polly. Hey. Manly Man furniture maker. Man should be as strong as me. Mars. 
Oh, come on. He's not even close. I didn't think he was. Do you? He's so tall. Oh, my gosh. I would like to... <laughs> Is Antoine going to come for me if I say hi to the doctor? Dr. Shu. Hi. Hi. Do you go on adventures often? Keep some drugs at hand and remember the doctor's advice. What is the doctor's advice? To keep See some you. drugs on hand? Or is there another... <laughs> Look at this. This is the most hilarious thing. I just love seeing that. And sometimes it just happens really randomly that I notice it. I'm just like, okay. Yes, please. Now, if I remember correctly, I think that there's a storage... Why? Pinky! Pinky, just come move in with me! Pinky, you don't have to sleep there. You can just move in with me! <laughs> I'm, like, already trying to entice Pinky. Okay. This one? Okay. Perfect. I got two. The salad sauce. I feel like that gives stamina, right? Yeah, that's stamina. Uh, apricot juice is stamina, and then the dried apple slices are also stamina. The dried apples, I tried to start growing apples ASAP. Um, just to make that something that I can start making. Uh, or apricots. Anything dried, really. Okay. We leveled up again, and then I... Oh, that's what I wanted the, um... The wood for. I want to go and see if I can fix the, um, all the, the stuff in my, I don't think I can, but maybe I'll be able to get most of them done. I don't think I have enough, but the other thing that we haven't done yet is skill tree. Okay. The one thing I always feel like I need is more stamina. So when do you get to add more to stamina here, right? Max endurance, max stamina. Okay. So you have to put in how many points? Five skill points still. Uh, okay. So let's put one there. And then I don't think I'm going to do any fighting anytime soon. So let's do this one as well. And then we'll wait. And then the other thing is smooth talker is the one I like to perk up all the way. And then items can sell for 2%. I don't really spar. And sometimes I give gifts. I am... Um, so, and then like the, the commerce hotshot one is a really good one. Uh, it increases the workshop points by one reward by 5%. So that's one that I also like to do fairly early on. Look okay, at we have a name outside of our workshop. Fix the gap. Three wood. Yes. Excellent. Come on this one. Three wood. Yes, please. Better. Ah, uh, fix this one. 20 wood. I don't have that. Uh, well, how much is this one? It's another 10. Do I not have 10? I have eight. Oh no. And it's time for bed. All right. If we go to bed now, hopefully that'll just let us sleep more. <laughs> hopefully I more like, hopefully if we sleep more, it'll give us more stamina. I don't think it will. She has a pretty shitty Ow, morning. My head hurts. I know. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. I'm sorry, Lily. I promise you we will get another 30 pieces of wood and we will fix that tonight. <laughs>